What is crack lagging guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors. Today, I'm just gonna throw this thing in four wheel drive real quick. We're about to get off the road. Um, yeah, ha, here we are. Last freaking day of fishing season um, for uh, walleye, pike, bass, whatever, all that fun stuff. The good stuff, you know what I mean? Um, not saying our ice season is over. It's not even close. We've got um, burbot. They're probably just starting to fire up here. And then, um, yeah, I'm probably going to chase some panfish, bluegills, that sort of stuff. I'm really uh, pissed off today, though. Looked in the back seat. Precision noodle. Snapped right in half. That's why you put them in the rod box. Don't leave them just sitting in the back seat. But um, with that being said, we are um, on a local batty of water here. And um, it's kind of middle of the day, sun's out, gun's out type deal. It's cold, not really warm, but I figured, you know, what the hell? Let's, um, let's see if we can get some pike. I have not done any pike fishing, I don't think, at all hard this year. Maybe a couple right away, early ice, but that's about it. So I figured, hey, what the hell? We got a couple hours. We're probably going to go try and catch a walleye or two, but we're going to start it off and see if we can get a couple nice pike and so i grabbed some sacramentos grab two ifish pros two big rods we're gonna set them suckers out and do a little dangle and see if we can get some pike maybe some big bass there's a lot of big bass in this lake too so pretty much you're gonna be just in the truck waiting but um yeah like i said we got a couple hours to burn here then we'll probably go jump somewhere for walleyes tonight so you guys stay freaking tuned the end is here let's catch the last couple fish of the season all right first things first try and uh see where we're at for depth wise i haven't been out here in a long time so just sitting on a shallow i don't know, shallow weed flat i want to be in like seven eight feet maybe nine one and seven one and nine would be really cool so so we're gonna start <laughs> Scared me though. All right, let's see where we're at here. 9.1. So we could do that. We could definitely do that. 9.1. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see if we can get one in uh, like seven or something. Get them away from the truck too because uh, we're going to be sitting in the truck. I don't need to uh, spook and fish with the truck running. So, look at that. Eight feet. Wow, we're too good at this. So that'll be one of the tip-up holes. Then I'm gonna go back out here a little ways. Drop this one in like nine or something. I only grabbed 12 Sacramentos, so. This is a lake that 12 Sacramentos might only last you an hour. I'm not kidding, I've had some, some doozies out here before, that's for sure. I got some rods to rig up. I don't think you even have anything tied on for this. Nothing set up, so it's gonna be a minute. But holes are drilled. One's in nine, nine point one, and one's in eight point two. So got a little bit of depth variation there, which is good. And it's not warm. <gasps> My hands are already cold is just sick. All right. All right, let's rig some rods. Okay, we are running nothing but iFish Pros and uh, big rods. That's the only way to do it. 
I don't like hand over hand, and I'm not a beaver dam kind of guy, so. It's getting warm out here, though. I like that. I don't know if it was just because I was sitting in the truck for 20 minutes, retying lines, or, or if it's actually just getting nice out. But we'll see. I'm going to drop some lines, see if we can catch some pegs. I haven't done this in a while here, Aaron, so I don't know if there's even any pike left in this lake. There was some decent pike in here when I used to fish it all the time back in the day, but you know how that goes. Everybody fishes now. We'll see, though. If it's not good, I do have a, a couple more spots we could probably go, so... Hopefully we don't have to do that, but we will, if this is a straight bust, so, got a little leader, treble hook, and, um, yeah, 30 pound braid or something down to a wire leader, I like to run my minnows super high in the water, trust me, pike don't care. <laughs> There we go. Now let's just uh, grab the iFish Pro tip up. If you guys don't know what an iFish Pro tip up is, I, I don't know who you are. So, got some good soccer minnows too. Asked Buddy to grab me some big ones and. Oh, they're feisty as all hell, too. Actually, some. God, I threw the reel in the snow again. God, you're an idiot. All right, sucker, going down. Not far down. Probably only five feet down. If that rod goes in the rod holder like so, there's a little clip on the iFish Pro like so. If you guys don't know how to use this, just go watch a couple of my other videos. It's pretty simple. Boom. She is set, ready to go. Simple as that. Don't have to hand over hand fight fish. Can um, fight them with the rod and reel. It's the best. So, turn this a little bit so the wind's not blowing the line over the flag. Bail's open. Alright, let's go to the next. Alright, this one, same type of deal. Um, nice size treble hook, wire leader, sinker iFish Pro setup, but this one is on a bait casting rod, which is not the right rod for it at all. That's for sure. Definitely not the right rod for this, uh, this, uh, whatever we're doing here. This is more of a trout rod. This is a, a hot rod made by Ericadia, but um, I've got some big pike on it, so. Kind of use it as a big eye fish pro rod. But it seems to work just fine. So. Same deal. Rod goes in the rod holder, like so. Not wrapped around the tips, though. Goes on to there. Bail is open. Just like that. Good to freaking go, boys. So. Wait, we'll see if there's any fish here. If not, um, we might make a small adjustment, maybe a small move or something. Give it a half hour, 45 minutes or something if we don't have a flag. Maybe run down another 100 yards down this flat. Set them up again and see if we can get on them. Flag number 18 for the day. Might have a fish on it. it does. Holy hell. You're joking, right? Oh, what happened there? There we go. Wow. Wow. 
there you have it. Not, uh, not anything that I was looking for, that's for sure. But I'm not going to lie with you. I don't even know how many flags we've had today. Well, not just today, just in the like last hour, dude. Probably had 20. Haven't caught one. <laughs> so. Might, uh, not be a big one, but. Damn, that was a good shot. It's not the big one, but it is one. That's for sure. That's the first fish I've seen. We finally got one. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get a little more serious. Cause my serious factor was gone. I'll tell you that. There was nothing that I was taking serious anymore. I barely even wanted to get out of the truck for these things. I'd literally see them go off and I'm just like, oh, great. Another flag stuck in the weeds. Catch big fish on your last day of fishing. Wow. I'm almost wondering if that's probably why a lot of these are smash and goes. Because I think the bigger fish are definitely going to hold on. But those small fish like that, I'm guessing they. Smash and grabs. But, um, hey, that's two two flags two fish so we're uh, not complaining about that especially with having 15 flags and catching none so we're not complaining about that at all that is good keep them coming let's just get a couple big ones now that's all we need How many flags that other one sent off right away it hasn't went off in a long time so we might uh we need to go check that one out hey another fish down we are going to wrap this up on this lake anyway sat here for you know I'd say two hours about somewhere in there and the fishing is just not it's not the we've had plenty of flags that's for sure but not um not enough fish so i'm gonna jump off this lake real quick it's about three o'clock right now i figured if we uh jump off of this one maybe go put some of them suckers down on um a bigger lake maybe we won't get as many bites but maybe we can get one or two bites that we are looking for and I got my shack and all my walleye fishing gear. So let's put one tip up out, set the shack up. It's the last day of walleye season. I mean, are we gonna try and catch one more walleye for the year or what are we doing? So it's the name of the game right now. We're gonna blast that lake, get set up. Hopefully do a lot better than this one. You guys, see if I can do it. We are on another lake. I figured the lakes would be a lot more terrible than they are. Actually, these are not bad, dude. I'll drive anywhere, anytime. Probably keep it in two-wheel drive, but we got her in four-wheel peel. We're just ripping across the lake. We're gonna go and um, set up over here for some well ice and pike. That's right. I don't have um, shiners or smaller suckers 
for walleyes and the walleyes on this lake really don't like suckers that much so i think we're just gonna go one tip up in like 15 feet of water 13 15 get some weeds down there with it and um hope for a, a really good sized pike i've caught a lot of nice pike actually while i've been to this spot walleye fishing and that sort of thing so we're gonna set the tip up up first then we'll set the shack up just do one hole in the shack and um gets to jigging for some walleyes i have not been over here in a long time this could be a total bust you just never know but we're gonna get in there set up hopefully catch a couple walleyes last ones of the season so guys i think we are uh good to go it is a couple minutes before four o'clock that is exactly what i wanted got the shack set up got put it yeah put it a little close to the old truck there bud Got the iFish Pro out over there. Shack is all set up. One hole drilled in here. Heater is on. Cameras are ready. We're gonna set up. Hopefully, catch us some walleyes. Come on. Just do it. Just do it. Do what? What is this? Tool gear, him? Or what? I don't know, but he is all over it. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes again. Oh my god, what are these guys? You guys in two of me. Yup. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. These guys are kind of cool though. Weird looking fish, but kind of cool. You can just tell that he's chasing it way too hard. These things chase like freaking trout, man. Every time you catch them, they get every single damn hook in their mouth, I swear. Okay, just stop flopping for a second. There we go. First fish, a tulipy. Let me tell you right now. Those things freaking stink, dude. Like, oh my gosh, those things stink. They're probably one of the weirdest smelling fish. That's for sure. You usually can tell because they will just not stop chasing it. You can reel it up super far. They chase it all the way up. You go past them. They chase it down. Ooh, what's this? Holy. Holy. I don't know what this is, but dude, it came in so freaking fast. And absolutely crushed it. I almost want to say pike. Just for how it was acting. No. Hey. Frick, dude. What do we do now? What do we do now? Do we harvest one last time for the season? Or do we let them go? Here we have it. Walleye number one of the night. Let me tell you. The time I marked him, he was already on. That was the northern, he came in so freaking fast. Bubble trailing. But, um, I don't know. I don't think we're going to keep him. Sounds kind of down. Last wall of the year. But I think we're... I don't know, man. Are we eating fish tacos tomorrow night? Fish tacos tomorrow night. <laughs> Let's get it. We're dumping him back in. Sadly to say, I, just, I, don't know. I don't know if I'm going to eat fish tacos tomorrow night. I think the woman's already got dinner plans. So, I'm just going to dump them. It's too late now, so. Now we are committed <laughs> to letting go, which is... 
It's alright, maybe we'll have some good karma. We send him home. Don't need to harvest, like I said. I really want fish tacos tomorrow night, but I think um, the lady's got um, dinner plans taken care of for tomorrow night, so that means I'm going to have to freeze them. Don't want to freeze them. Just rather, uh, rather not. somewhere like I'm wrapped in the deuce it's a walleye it's a walleye it's a walleye yes sick dude oh okay we got another uh Baby walleye there. Camera died. Halfway up. I'm gonna tuck him right on back. Let's see what the hell happened here with the damn camera battery. Why did the camera die? That's what I want to know. Have we got time for one more? Let's go. That one was freaking charged. That one was fired up about it, dude. I don't know what to tell you. We might be done with camera batteries. Fucking GoPros now wanting to wear big cameras just dying on batteries that have been charging for hours. I am not sure what's going on right now. But we got another walleye. On that note, we're going to wrap it up right here. As you can tell, it is pitch black out. What a freaking rough way to end the season. Definitely not what I was hoping for. I figured I'd go to the first lake, bang out a bunch of pike. That didn't happen. Figured I'd come here, get some walleyes. I at least got two to end the season on, but I was hoping for a big pike on the iFish Pro here. That didn't happen either. So I'm going to wrap this up. That's an end to the pike and walleye season here in Minnesota. Obviously we'll still be on ice. We got lots of ice. I mean, there's still 30 some inches of ice here. Driving trucks, no problem. And um, we got barbit coming up, which I'm my favorite fish through the through the ice for sure. And um, obviously I'm sure I'll do some crappies and bluegills still, but I'm ready to get home. I'm starving. And um, like I said, next time you see me, I guarantee I'm probably gonna be chasing burbot. It's going to be super nice this week. I'm going to go do some underwater and Cameron, seeing if they're moving around yet, and um, see if we can get on a hot bite, maybe the spawn, film some spawn balls, catch a bunch of big greasy burbot, and um, yeah. if you guys haven't tried that, make sure you do, because it is a freaking blast. But End of the season with two walleyes, two dinkers. Should have probably kept them both, put them little suckers into fish tacos, and I would have been having an awesome meal tomorrow night, but that didn't happen. <sighs> Let's wrap this up. Get the hell out of here. As always, I don't know where I'll be next. On the ice, catching something, doing something dumb. You guys, stay freaking doing.